So we're here with um, Russell and uh, Charlotte Heald and their beautiful property in Norswood in Southern Hawke's Bay. Russell, just tell us a little bit about your, your business here and, and uh, what, you, what you're doing and what you're trying to achieve with the, uh, with the cows and the, um, and, the, and the calves. So we're in a um, family partnership here farming 320 hectares and we've been in it for about four years now. It's split between a, the dairy farm where we milk about 430 cows and then the runoff block, which is around 128 hectares. Russell, the idea behind using uh, the waggy bulls and the, and the look, looking at the first light uh, business model is um, motivated by what? So basically to start with was trying to eliminate any wastage within our calves. So we we're eliminating sending any any calves off to the works as bobby calves. So in a normal sort of situation, at, at four days old, uh, they'd be off uh, down the road, whereas, whereas the, your model now you're hanging on to them and, and rearing them right through. Yes, we're looking and we're here, we're starting to utilise the runoff as a finishing unit yep. and trading unit, so the calves are actually reared and taken through and some are traded right. um, off to other first light farmers within the area. We've just really enjoyed um, being able to reduce that wastage and to be able to you know, rear every calf and take them all through because um, you know, by the time you've got them through the first four days ready to go on the bobby calf truck, you've put a lot of love in already, so yeah. you may as well be keeping them for yourself and taking them through. It sort of feels, it feels really good to be able to do that. They're reared in, uh, in the nice, uh, I see the nice shed over there, so on, uh, on sawdust and, and, uh, and milk you bring from the, uh, from the dairy platform? Yeah, they tend to come out of the shed around five to six weeks of age okay. and out into the paddock where they're fed on milk. Yep. until they're around eight to nine weeks. So as of next year, we'll end up with around 250 right. Wagyu calves that we'll end up rearing, and some of them will get traded as 100 kilos. And as far as in pasture, uh, uh, the, the young calves, they come out of the shed and they go onto straight grass. Our calves only have um, lucerne hay and the fresh grass in the paddocks. Sure. So we don't feed them anything else. When they go to leave here, they're around that 560 to 600 kilos or 620 kilos of steers yeah, sure. and then as, as heifers they'll be killed out at a weight like live weight range between sort of four 450 to 500 kilos. Do you see the extra value in the in the, in the Wagyu breed with the, with the marbling coming through and the product and the, the premium end markets that you're trying to, uh, to, to, to supply? Yeah no it is working out really well doing that been a really nice way to diversify our business and do something a bit different. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And there's nothing more rewarding than seeing, you know, the, the animals that you've carved, fed, lovingly fed, yeah. and, you know, take them through right to the other end. It's quite nice. We're sort of looking towards fencing all our waterways really thoroughly and, um, and planting them, and we're yep. quite, quite excited about those sort of projects because yeah. it does make it more sustainable and also, you know, it keeps everything nice yeah. and clean and fresh.